Tansei Adventurers, today I want to talk to you a little bit about your M's, remembering your M's, the M's of the encounter. Now, in all the games that I've ever sat through, including the ones in the last few years uh, post-COVID, I noticed that uh, everyone always remembers the green, the green ones. Remember the movement, the missiles, magic, and melee. But what I don't see done, and particularly in new games, is the other colors that I've got here. And specifically, what happens before you decide that you're going to engage with combat, and uh, what happens during. Now, the first thing that you should always roll for is, when you're meeting a new creature, is the mood. And by that, I mean a reaction roll. And it doesn't even necessarily have to do with the fact that, oh, well, these are these are evil creatures. In any given situation, just depending on where their mind is at and how they perceive you, they may be up for a deal. Maybe uh, they're, they're feeling particularly good. They're having a great day. And uh, they're, they're curious about you and they want to talk to you. Maybe they see you, you as, as potential allies on a temporary basis to achieve a certain goal. Um, and maybe you can't trust them any further than you can throw them. And you'll have to keep your eye out for, for what's going to happen there. But in, in the very least, give them the chance to, to make some, some sort of an impression. Uh, have, have, have some parlay. Have a dialogue with them. Because in a lot of games, it seems that everyone is just too quick. They, they enter a room, they see that there are creatures there, there are monsters, and you just attack instantly. And that doesn't cut it in old school play. If you've seen some of my previous videos where I've talked about healing and uh, how that's a... It's a really slow, arduous process to, uh, to get back your hit points, not like the modern games. Trying to figure out how not to get in a scuffle, it's, it's really worth your time. So do that reaction roll at the beginning. See whether you necessarily have to engage with these creatures. If you can barter with them, if you can just have a conversation with them, if you can agree, well... You know, we'll stay out of your way if you stay out of our way. And maybe you probably still have to keep an eye on your back because maybe they'll decide to come after you later. But I think all this adds to the interest in the game. Just fighting every single thing that you see at the time that you see it isn't interesting. Having temporary alliances with creatures that you don't trust, having to keep an eye out for them, uh, watching your back, that is so much more interesting. And you know, that is the sort of game that I enjoy playing, and maybe you would enjoy playing it also. And the other part is at the end, or at least in between combat rounds, is morale. Because not every creature is going to fight to the death. Any intelligent creature probably will not want to fight to the death. So make sure that that role is happening after every combat round. And in particular, after the first casualty against an enemy, and... Also, when they are at 50% or, or less than half of their original number, these are both critical points. And maybe even once again, if there's just one last one, not every monster wants to fight to the death. Unless it's a mindless creature, in which case you can throw away the morale, it, it doesn't apply, and you'll see that right in the morale score. In any case, remember your M's. Not just the four, but the six M's. I hope this has been helpful.